Hello. So I got a request to discuss advice to someone entering adulthood who is overwhelmed by uh, the new challenges that adulthood brings. And being um, an entirely qualified adult myself, I figured I would give this a shot. That was my shot at sarcasm. Um, side note, I have stitches on my head, so I've been wearing headbands and gauze underneath to cover it. I got, um, yeah, so I'm okay though. But, um, but it's interesting changing my style a bit and wearing headbands every day. Because <laughs> I can't, yeah. I keep deciding not to talk about it because I don't think it'll be interesting. I do that a lot where I cut myself off deciding they won't care about that. But who am I to say? So I have not thought this through, honestly, which is I'm kind of crammy. I got a types on Tuesday. I said I deliver because last week I did not. And it's been very busy around these parts. I've been directing a high school play which is going well, and I've been assisting dir directing a community theater production, and so it's been a lot of back-to-back -back rehearsing as well as taking care of my child and hanging out with my husband and friends. That's my life right now. And that's adulthood over here. But um, I think some of the stressful parts of adulthood are doing things for the first time that you have never done before. So that was redundant, but something to remember is to give yourself grace. And that's, I think, one of the hardest things to do, especially when you're a perfectionist. And, um, but going into challenges and struggling and feeling overwhelmed by it, maybe having a mantra that reminding yourself, I've never done this before, or this is new. Um, of course, I'm not going to be good at paying my bills or whatever the thing whatever the challenge is reminding yourself why um or that it's not it's not unnatural for something to be difficult because when it's new it's the same thing with knowledge if you don't know something it's like everyone's talking about um i don't even know deductibles or something that you don't know much about and you feel like you should know it but you don't know it because you don't know it yet, and you can decide to learn about it, um, but time is, is tricky because it's like, it's like time and focus because the things we're interested in are the things we're going to retain, and if you're not interested in learning about deductibles, it doesn't matter how many times your dad explains it to you, it's going to go in one ear or out the other. It's like you have to kind of live in that experience and really know it and need it and research it on your own before you retain it. But I'd say don't be hard on yourself for the things that you don't retain because you're not going to be good at everything. And it's a lot of juggling many of things, especially when you're living on your own. There's just so much to manage. And I think... When I think of like the challenges of new adulthood, to me, money comes to mind, which is, it stinks that that is a thing that we have to think about so much. Sometimes I idealize a life where we're able to spend more time focusing on other things rather than making money, because it seems like a lot of our days are spent working and trying to make money just to survive and then and then there's hobbies, which is like the bonus, but I feel like, I don't know, just sometimes when you think of life as so short, it's, um, it makes that stuff not seem not as important, but then you wake up to reality and you need money to pay for gas and whatever else. This is not very stable. I have my phone on cinematic mode. Isn't that fun? It's interesting trying something new. Um, I'm a little sleepy. But um, I guess I'm just going to give a couple other tips <laughs> from my, my wise little self. The thing is also, when looking to others, I do this. I look to others for advice. 
nobody knows. Everyone's just figuring it out and making it up. So you're figuring it out and it's hard to trust yourself, but I feel like a lot of strength and resilience comes from trusting yourself and then forgiving yourself and then going at it again. And resilience is, um, is an important tool. It's a, a useful tool because life can be hard and keep throwing challenges and resilience helps you persevere and continue and, um, grow and, um, become better maybe, or just, yeah, I feel like people succeed when they when they push through but it's like a healthy push I think I've talked about this before but there's like there's your comfort zone which is you're not doing much and then there's your panic zone which is where someone's using maybe shame to try and teach you something and you're not going to learn or you feel like you're literally going to pee your pants or like you're being chased by a saber tooth tiger that's panic mode so panic and comfort zone you're not going to learn or grow in those spaces because one you're either paralyzed by fear and panic zone or two you're not pushing yourself at all in comfort zone so nothing's going to come of it so the sweet spot is the growth zone the growth zone is where you push yourself out of your comfort zone but not too far <laughs> no not where it's like actually scary or, or feeling um, threatening to you. And then you, um, it feels maybe scary in it, but you're actually safe. That's the difference. Panic zone, you might not be safe. You have to, you literally have to pee or something. But um, <laughs> I don't know why. The, the bells is what I'm using as an example of panic. But, but so in, the, in that growth zone, it can feel a little scary and challenging and there might be struggle, but out of it comes growth and learning. And I value growth and I know a lot of people on this page value growth as well. So um, entering adulthood, there's going to be a lot of things that push you in your growth zone, growth zone. And in those moments, you think you're in your panic zone and it can be easy to kind of shut down or run away. But just know that you're learning and you're growing even though it's hard and honor the hard too, like honoring the feelings that you're having. Like I'm struggling and I'm overwhelmed and that's okay. Um, my feelings are valid and maybe also I'm growing. Um, and maybe sometimes things just stink and that's true too. Sometimes there's not justification. Sometimes there's not learning. Sometimes there's just um, struggle but not all the time because nothing lasts forever. Everything, everything passes. Um, let me see. So growth zone and gratitude helps a lot. That can be a difficult thing to maintain the practice of gratitude, but keeping a journal or verbalizing every night at least three things that you're grateful for that day. The more you practice being grateful for what you have, rather than wanting more and wishing for more, the more satisfied you'll be in your existence on earth, which is, I think, a lot of people's goal. Happiness, you hear? Which happiness, we've talked, I've talked about this, but I don't think it's should be the, the ultimate goal, but I think being at peace with all the emotions that come and go um, and coming to find a, a balance that works for you. I think also entering adulthood, you end up learning a lot of things that you like and you don't like. And sometimes you do that by doing the things you don't like. And then it's like, okay, less of that. And then more of this. So I feel like the more you kind of experiment that that's how you figure out what you want more of and then and then finding finding that balance um because i do think when someone is 
to go back to the jobs because that's the money making. When someone is good at their job, they they thrive and it feels good if they're good at it and other people feel they're good at it and it's impacting an, another person, like it's like, yes. And then also it feels fulfilling or, or positive. Those are the three um, good signs that, that that's a great career for you um, or that's a gift, my mom says. So, so yeah, finding more of that because there can be things that we're good at but don't enjoy. And I don't necessarily think you have to enjoy everything that you do, but I try to it myself. Um, and I think that there are enough, just, you can just tell when someone's thriving and, and they're in the job they're doing and they love it and they're good at it. And it's just like, it just feels natural. And then you don't have to work a day in your life. I don't know if I fully agree with what I'm saying, because I do also think that, that, that not everyone can find their passion. It, it's easy to say from for me because I have like very clear passions, but I know some people don't have a, a clear passion. So then it's just a matter of like negotiating with yourself. Like I can do some of this and then I'll do, and then this will allow me to travel or this will allow me to watch movies at, at night or whatever it is. I keep playing with my hair because I feel like it look kind of funny cinematic mode for like me in my loungy wear <laughs> it was um painting today I ended up not really uh but I wore paint clothes um adulthood what is adulthood <laughs> what is it what does it mean I I'm watching um hook with my, my dear husband, Franco, the never growing up um, theme of Peter Pan, I do feel like you got to keep that, that wonder or that childlikeness throughout your life. Just the curiosity, because the curiosity is going to keep you open. And the more closed we are, I think the less the less we're susceptible to growing and to connecting on a true, true deep level. Um, but I say this and, and some people are satisfied and, and their closed offness. Maybe they want to be that way and that's fine too. Or maybe they're <laughs> like and subscribe. There will be more content soon that is more prepared. And I appreciate you. I think that if you're if you're trying and you're listening and you're caring, you're doing the good work. And um and also, if you're not doing the good work, that's okay, too. You, don't be so hard on yourself and give yourself grace. Where, you know, I just... I just think humans are so hard on themselves, and then they end up projecting, and then we end up, like, fighting, and there's conflict and all this. But if we were a little bit more self-compassionate, then outwardly, we'd be able to reach each other more. And, um... So the, the work starts here, and a lot of you are in, like, self-growth journeys, and I think that's just fantastic. It's fantastic. Um, oh, also, I think this doesn't necessarily work for everyone, but having some sort of... Why are you shushing me? Having some sort of routine can kind of help routine like the things that make you feel good doing more of that like I said but maybe in in a prepared fashion if you know you don't feel good when you stay up till one scrolling your phone then start getting in the habit of putting your phone in your closet at 11 and 
using your alarm clock to wake you up in the morning or something like that. But, but gradually you can do that and create a life that feels good to you. And I think sometimes we, we think we have to do it overnight and just like, okay, now I'm just going to have a better life. But I think it's just, it's just kind of a process and it's also, it's also ever changing. It's like up and down and, you know, all around, all around, you are doing wonderful. And, um, Life can be challenging. Goodbye. Can you tell I have a toddler? Oh, here's a little one. Goodbye. Okay, bye. You know what really grinds my gears? When you see the reflection on the glasses, but I'm not perfect, like the whole time. You see, I didn't know that that was happening because I was just like spacing, just looking out into the thought world. And then I see, oh, yeah, I should have taken my glasses off, you know? I should have, would have. That's, that's, my, that's my beef. That's the thing that I need to work on is the should have, would have. And instead of the just, this is, this is what I chose. And this is where we're at, right? Right. Because I guarantee I'm not going to like this very flawed video. And, um... And sometimes that's that. Pardon me, just moving the high chair. That is what deadlines are good for, I think, is forcing you to just put the thing out there. And um, ready or not, here it comes. Yeah, so what is your thing that you want to work and grow at? What And then what do you, that's one. And then two, what do you want more of in your life? And three, what do you want less of? And, um, if you want to add a fourth, what are you proud of, of yourself? I'm just giving you homework because, you know, I have high standards for you people. The point is, I believe in you. And also, you know, you could have an old light fixture, but it's a light. It's, you know, and notice how it helps you see. <laughs> and that is, I'm just going to end on that bad analogy. Okay, goodbye, ba says baby sweetheart been playing with these monkeys and my child really enjoys them so they were mine so isn't that cool i thought so goodbye i'm almost at 4,000 subscribers and once i'm on 4,000 subscribers nothing's gonna change but um thanks for watching and i appreciate all of you and i think that this mbti community is weird and sometimes it's it's nice even depending Depending on the individual. All right, that's. Did you get a little bit of vertigo from this video? <laughs> Sorry. Hi, life advice from me in the dark. Should I do it all here? So I got a request to talk about 